Leanne, how's it going, girl? Going good, Miss Milford. Hope all is well. Are you staying out of trouble? <laughs> Making your rounds. Yes, I am, Mr. Winslow. A lot of crazy people live up in here. And uh, hopefully you're not one of them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, well, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm glad you're here. Can you give this rent check to Charlie? I don't have anyone to watch the kids. I got you. Oh, you're the best. Hey, I try to be. Hey, cutie pie. Hi. One minute. Oh, hey, Leanne. I just came to drop Mabel Shack. Oh, good. Oh. Don't want to have to evict her and all those kids. Kids? How many does she have? Oh, I lost count. Maybe like nine? Hmm. And I don't even have one. Adoption agency still hasn't called yet? They were supposed to have a home inspection for me three weeks ago, but it keeps getting pushed back. What a shame. You'd make a great mother. Outside of the whole security business thing you're in. What do you mean? Well, there's always something going down, Leanne. You don't want your, you getting your kids getting caught up in all that shitty business. Wait, are you sure we work in the same building? You'd be surprised. Olivia, over in 3A, just reported some very strange items missing the other day. Strange items? Was I here for that? No, Ezekiel was. But it was something that no one would want to steal. And yet, it was stolen. Strange. Underwear. Ladies' underwear. Ooh, old ladies' mm -hmm. underwear at that. Why do you think that was stolen? Well, there wasn't just one or two pieces. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just to be difficult, she, Olivia told me that she's gonna go commando until it all gets returned. Ooh, what do you think about that? Yuck. I'm gonna have to go to Walmart to get her some drawers after work. Just keep an eye out, Leanne, will you? Okay. Well, that's what I'm here for. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, hello. Hi, Ezekiel. Good morning. How was the night watch? Anything exciting happen? Mrs. Stevens' cat jumped into the garbage chute, but other than that, nothing exciting. But I heard something interesting. Charlie said that Miss Olivia's underwear has been stolen? Oh, did she look in the dryer? She probably just left it there. I don't know. I didn't ask her. You know, Charlie, he's... Damn fool. He's been swearing some big conspiracy is going to sweep through this building. Still hasn't happened. That's because you're here. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm buzz. Ooh. Hello? Yes, this is she. Really? You're coming in an hour? Okay. All right, okay, I'll see you soon. Oh my God, that's the adoption agency lady. She's coming, she's coming. I gotta go, I gotta go. Get out of here then. Yes, ma'am. I'm Beverly Will. I'll be conducting your home inspection today. Of course, of course. Mm. 
Mm, you seem prepared. Yes, as soon as I decided to adopt a baby, I decided to get ready. And my family pitched in and gave me all of these beautiful things. <laughs> like this. This came from my aunt. <laughs> you know those are illegal in nine states, right? That's exactly what I told her when she dropped it off. And as soon as I get some time, I'm going to give it to Goodwill or the dump. No the time, you say? You know, babies take up a lot of your time. How do you plan to accommodate that? Ah, I got a lot of cousins. I got nieces and nephews that I babysat. Well, babysit. I don't know if I said it correctly, but I've helped them for so many years. They got my back, and they're going to help me go through it. But what's your plan, Miss Walker? Who's going to watch your baby while you're working full time, I assume? Well, um, my mother, she said that she can help. Does she live here with you? No, but she does live a few miles away, yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, <sighs> I'm going to figure that out. It's going to be all right. This says that you volunteer at the girls' club. Yes, yes, I do. I have this wonderful little sister. Matter of fact, I'm going to see her tomorrow at the park. And would this at-risk youth be exposed to the baby? Oh, Aisha? She's just a really good kid that got caught up in the foster care system. Okay. Well, I think I've seen enough. Yeah. So, what do you think? I'll prepare my report and I'll get back with you in a few days. A couple of days? Last time I heard that, it was a couple of weeks. But, okay. Well, sometimes um, we get a little bit off, but we'll, we'll definitely get back with you in a couple of days or so. Um, yeah, okay. Well. Yes, there's a lot of families trying to adopt babies in your zip code alone. <sighs> Our preference is for the most stable families. Stable? You mean like two parents? Your words, not mine, but two heads are better than one, as they say. Hmm. Do you plan on getting married, miss? Well, good men are hard to find, Miss Wilde. Well, I guess I'm a lucky lady then. Well, it was nice meeting you. Um, we'll be getting in contact with you soon. Thank you, Ms. Phil. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later. <laughs> Maybe I am crazy for trying to adopt a baby all by myself. It's not your fault. Well, any boys ask you out? I mean, how obvious do I have to be? <laughs> well, one thing I could tell you about young men, they're very shy in the beginning. But as your big sister, I'm more interested in your college plans and future endeavors. How am I supposed to know what I want to do in life? I'm barely 16. <laughs> Amen to that. Everyone's talking about college, trade school, baby daddies. Hard pass on the baby daddies. You gotta have a husband first. I don't know. I mean, you went to college, right? Yes, I did. Criminal justice. Why are you a security guard then? Well, financial problems, lack of family support, and a uh, car broke down a bunch of times. I was two semesters away, but it didn't matter because what I really wanted to do is be a mom. Hmm. Well, you're a great big sister, so I'm sure you'd be an okay mother. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, you're not so bad yourself, kid. <laughs> 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 now, if it wasn't so dark, I'd freaking play some soccer with you. <laughs> I've never been good at sports. <laughs> I have two left feet. <laughs> <laughs> and I have two right feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Mr. Naheem, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Leanne. Have you met my neighbor's son, Gino? Hi, nice to meet you. What's going on? It seems we've had another occurrence of petty theft. Which apartment? It was the strippers on the second floor. Ezekiel, we can't call them strippers. They're exotic dancers. But yes, it seems that some of their supplies have gone missing. So wait, you mean to tell me Miss Olivia's underwear has gone missing? The strippers, I mean, exotic dancers, stripper pole is gone? What is this? We're looking into it, but that's not the only reason I'm here today. What else? Ezekiel here has announced his retirement. Ooh. Yes. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Well deserved. Which means there'll be a supervisor position open in about two weeks. Which is why my neighbor's son is here. He's interested in the business. Right, Gino? Yeah, I like watching um, cop shows and stuff. Wait a minute. That's right. So that would mean the 8 to 4 p.m. shift would be open and a pay raise? You know someone. Well, have them apply online and forward me their resume. I'll take a look at it after I take a look at Gino's. I'm still working on it. Well, I better be getting this young man back home to his mother. She's making meatloaf and she's invited me over for dinner. Yay! <laughs> Well, nice seeing you again, Mr. Naeem. And nice seeing you too, Gino. That's a shame. Doesn't even consider you for my job when you're the one best suited? Oh, I appreciate that, Ezekiel. Let me give you some advice, okay? Don't give 20 years of your life to this joke of a company, all right? When you move on, they'll just replace you with a dim-witted millennial who doesn't know how to look another human in the eye and have a conversation, much less do his job. All right. Look, there's only one good thing that's come from this job. What is that? I gotta go. Strange man. Hmm. <sighs> security! Security! Yes, Miss Milford? It's horrible. Horrible! What happened? They stole my camera right out of my apartment! Just now? Yes! And my tripod! Do you know who did it? Well, I was in the bathroom getting ready for some hot tub time, and when I came out, it was gone! So, it just happened now? Yes! Okay, you know what we're gonna yes. do? Let's go, let's go look for this person. Come on, let's go. Miss Milford is running real fast. We get to her apartment and we notice that her door is open. Whew. I hear something. Was it the thief? Miss Milford. Someone did steal her camera. It's a thievery, transgression, tragedy, in the words of Miss Milford. I wonder should I call the cops? And then I second guess myself. I know that Mr. Naeem doesn't like to involve the authorities. It'll make our job seem less important. Hmm. But things were stolen. Underwear, a stripper pole, an old camera. Strange though, all these items suddenly disappearing. But if I 
solve the crime. If I can figure out who's stealing all this, these items, then that'll show Naeem that I'm a capable security guard. That I would be the woman for the job. right this would be an opportunity to prove myself Miss Milford I promise you that I will find whoever did this and if it still works I'll even get your camera back I'm coming, I'm coming. Yes? Charlie, I need your help. In the middle of my free flow music experience time? Yes, it's important. I... Please, come right in. Take off your shoes. No, don't. Charlie, another item was stolen. Miss Milford's camera. Does she even know how to use a camera? Well, it's pretty old, but that's besides the point. Something, something's going on here. I gotta figure it out. Well, maybe a homeless guy's getting to the building again. I did notice an old bend out there a few weeks. Maybe, but I... You ever get a gut feeling that something is off? Oh, all the time. That's the way I live my life. In fact, I had a gut feeling that an uninvited guest would barge into my apartment today. So, I'm glad that I got my extra hand sanitizer here so that she wouldn't infect me with the worldly particles! Anyways, something's off here. Damn. Why? Why do you care? I have my reasons. So why do you need me? How long have you been working here? I'd rather not get into exact times and dates, but long enough. Long enough to know the comings and goings of the residents? You can say that. Do you have paper and postal board? There are a lot of holes in here. Well, I don't know everyone. Don't get out much, you know. Clearly. Well, does, does this help at all? Yes, but I need more. We're gonna have to interview the residents. We? Yes, we. You're the property manager here. Don't you care about the people that live here? Not really. Well, I do. And I'm going to need a set of eyes and ears to help me figure this out. One minute. I always knew I'd need this one day. We're asking questions, Charlie, not fighting off zombies. And yet, the zombies seem like a very real possibility. Maybe leave the bee catcher? Figure this thing out. I just, I know, I'm just. Gonna sit my head. Leanne, how can I help you? Sorry to bother you, Miss Olivia, but we love to ask you some questions about your stolen items. I don't really feel comfortable discussing my underoos with him around. Oh, 
Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll come back later. Okay, you do that. Hello. Something told me not to bring you with me. That's fine with me. I'm not sure how you talked me into this anyway. Hi, Miss Starla. I hear you've had a few items stolen and I'm here to ask you a few questions about it. Yeah, we know a stripper pole. Absolutely, those things aren't cheap, you know? <sighs> oh. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Just had a party? Oh, no, why? Uh, no reason. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. Oh, would you like a drink? Uh, no, we need to get down to business. We need to know about the stolen items. What, where, and when? Well, our pole is missing, mm -hmm. which is a huge bummer because it was laced with rhinestones that weren't cheap. Uh, also, a few outfits are gone and our DVD player. Not that we use it, really. And a bunch of our lights. Uh, you had more lights? <laughs> and maybe worst of all, my lava lamp that my boyfriend Reggie gave me. Mm, oh, okay. I'm sorry. You have a boyfriend? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Mm. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so, your boyfriend, is he, is he in the same line of work as you? Oh, no. He's a teacher. First grade. Okay. And then your roommate, Kit Kat, what does her boyfriend do? He's a teacher too, but kindergarten. So cute. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Ma'am, uh, do you ever leave your doors unlocked? Honey, in our line of work, you always lock the doors. Ooh. Does anyone else have a copy of your key other than you and Kit Kat? Well, my boyfriend does, but he was here. Uh, also, Kit Kat boyfriend, um, but also a teacher, but uh, kindergarten. So cute. I just can't imagine why he would steal any of those things. I mean, he gets to use them whenever he comes over or when he wants to watch us rehearse. <laughs> mm. Interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, um, all right, that is odd, that is odd. All right, well, thank you. Well, tell me more about what you do with these stolen items. Let's get out of here. Well, Goodbye. So, Charlie, we have our first clue. Someone had to have had the key to get in, which means this was part of an oh. inside job. Hi, can I help you? Yes, ma'am. I am Officer Thompson. I was called about a robbery. Yes, officer. Yes. Oh. It was I who called you. I had a very important item stolen. Very important. Yes, it says it was a camera. Was it expensive? Yes, I pay 700 for it. New, why bought it? All right, was anything else taken? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Um, my tripod was also gone. All right, got it. Anything else? Well, yes. There has been a string of robberies lately. It's mm. practically a heist situation. So more than one? Officer, um, yes, we've had a, a few, well, many robberies, um, and everyone's items are valuable, just like Miss Milford's here, and um, we're glad that you're here. I see. Okay, well, look, if you file separate police reports for each individual item stolen, we will contact the information and get to work. Thank you, officer, thank you. You don't know how important that camera is to me. No problem. And are you head of security? Well, not head of security, but I am in charge of the second shift here. Okay, well, here. Here's my card. And you just give me a call if I can be of any further assistance. And I'm the property manager here. Uh, Charlie. Short for Carl Jr. No relation to the food chain. Okay. Well, Miss Milford, I will be in touch. I gotta get going. Thank you, officer. Thank you so much.
He winks a lot. Sure does he? wink a lot. Yeah, he does wink a lot. Yeah, mm. he does. Yeah, he's kind of all right looking too. He's doing I it. Kinda, yeah. Okay. Get out. See you. Bye. He did what? He gave me his card. It was like this 30 second hold and I just looked deep into his eyes. Dang, I haven't heard you talk like that before. Yeah, I'm all wrapped up into it. It's like a detective book where it's a, a mystery at the apartment, stakes are high, and now the love interest is <laughs> introduced. Just one thing is missing. What's that? Your protege, ready to help and assist. What? I want to help. You need a young mind involved, not a crazy Charlie who thinks the world is going to end by Friday. Absolutely not. What? Why not? These are crimes, Aisha. Hardly. What? Apartments are getting robbed <laughs> in my building. How do I look as your official big sister, putting my little sister in harm's way? Please, Leanne. My life is boring. My foster parents work all the time, so I just go home and watch videos on my phone. Do you really want that for me? Why aren't you reading books? Please. The World Wide Web is at my fingertips, and I'm supposed to read a dusty old book to learn something? I don't like the way you're talking, OK? Leanne, you're my big sister, not my mom. Um, all right, I, I'm going to go. Let's go. Fixing this pipe. Ah, security guard and a handyman. How'd we get so lucky? <laughs> you did it. You did it. I know it was you all alone. I accidentally took your towel out instead of mine at the pool. How was that a crime? Because it was not just the towel. It was my camera, the stripper pole, everything. Our towels look the same. Wait, stripper pole? Wait, what's oh, going on, ladies? Leanne, I'm glad you are here. This woman stole my towel and likely everything else along with her. <laughs> Three of my scarves are missing. How do I know you didn't take my hair dressings? <laughs> Wait, you, did you say your scarves are missing? Yes. Can I talk to you privately about these items? Yes. I got it handled. Thank you so much. Okay. What's going on? Items missing. How many scarves? Three? Uh, well, call me Bibi. Um, all, my, all my relatives call me that, except my mom and dad and aunts and uncle and hairdresser co-workers. Okay, so you're a hairdresser. Yeah. Okay. But I want to know about your scarves. You said three scarves are missing. Yes, so my colorful hijab, my shayla, my beautiful burqa, they all went missing this morning. And in its place, there was a wad of money. A wad of money? Yeah. Wait, do you have like a friend or something that possibly could have taken the scarves and left you the money? That's against the code. Right. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? I'll figure this out. Okay? Okay. I'll take care of it for you, okay? Thank you. Thank All you right. very much. You have a beautiful night. Thank you. Okay? Get okay. to bed now. Okay. Take care. Keep them scars. The worst that you have, keep them, okay? Take care. Bye. Last night, I was chewing some gum. I heard a conversation on the ground. Good morning. Ezekiel. You look tired. Long night? You could say that. Mind if I have a piece? Help yourself. You chew a lot of this stuff, huh? Only when I have something on my mind. Mm -hmm. And what have you been considering? Well, I'm just trying to solve this mystery. You know. Doing my job. Yeah. I heard a conversation on the ground. I walked over to the ledge and I leaned over. How was your day, Ezekiel? Go out at all? 
Uh, I don't party. Really? Uh, you don't hang out? Uh, do anything special with the love of your life? I already told you I found my lady years ago. Right. You never mentioned her name. Well, you wouldn't know her. Outside of the apartment building, in the back alley, Ezekiel and Miss Milford Try me. were talking. See that, Gino? Changing of the guard. Take notes. How is everyone today? Oh, fine. Good. Just fine, sir. It's fine. Good, good. You all remember my neighbor's son here, Gino, correct? So, Ezekiel, I want you to show Gino here the ropes. Groom him to take over your position. Well, while we're being honest, Mr. Naeem, I don't think Gino here is a suitable successor for my position. Really? Why is that? What? What's happening? Well, who do you think would be a good replacement? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I never thought about that. I mean, really. Okay, would you be interested, Leanne? I most definitely will, sir. Great. Very well, then. Get me your resume. We'll have a little chat later. Okay. So you need me or not? Mm. Ezekiel didn't want Miss Milford to call the cops. Ezekiel. Miss Milford said it was all Thank you. Why plan. did you do that for me? You're a good person with a good heart, Leanne. Like I said, this company sucks. If I can help you have a little better time than I did, then I might as well. Well, thank you. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. I gagged, choked on my gum. Mrs. Wilt. <laughs> um, how can I help you? Oh, you did? And? I see, okay. Um, oh. well, um, I do have some news on the work front, Miss Wilt. Um, um, it does seem that um, I will be getting that job promotion along with the day shift. No, 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 it didn't. I don't have it yet, but it's still in the works. You, you, you can't give a child to a in the works family. I understand. Well. Well, well, can I reapply when this happens? I have to restart the everything. Restart the application? I don't understand. I see, well, Thank you, Miss Wilda. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, goodbye.
such a painful night, but you gotta keep things moving. Hey, Crete, what are you looking at? Oh, Officer Thompson! Leanne, right? From the uh, infamous uh, apartment crime scene. You know this man? Yeah, he's the cop that I was telling you about. Oh, I see. Asia Thompson. I'm her little sister. Oh, little sister, huh? I think I can see the resemblance. Well, she's my little sister from the foster care program. Not literal. <laughs> Oh, my mistake, my mistake. <laughs> anyway, I saw you over here, so I thought I'd come by and see how things were going at the apartment. Well, it's interesting. Have things been resolved? Uh, you could say that. Okay, will have the intensified? Uh, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. shoot. Maybe we shouldn't have dismissed your case so quickly. Dismissed? Well, yeah, you know, petty theft, especially in the odd nature yours was. Frankly, it just isn't worth our time. Isn't worth your time? Ain't that just like a cop? Aisha, don't talk like that. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. And you know what, Aisha, you're kind of right. But I'll tell you this. These days, we are really shorthanded, and the majority of our time is prioritizing and reprioritizing, so... Something like domestic violence would outweigh stolen underwear, you know? Sorry. No, it's okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> but you're right. I do wish I could give people the attention they deserve. I appreciate you stopping by. And good eye seeing us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, do you come here a lot? We come here every week, sometimes twice. It's kind of a tradition. Uh -oh. Quality time is very important to me. Um, and I don't mind the setting, you know? Very pretty. Well, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't have my watch, but I thank you for um, stopping by and, 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 and spending time with us. I know you got to get back to work. No, 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 no. I'm actually off today. I live right around the corner, so I thought I'd come on out and take a little walk and clear my mind. So, what are you doing later, officer? Nothing. Why? Leanne here is off today. Want to take her out? Aisha, I'm sorry. I. It's okay. It's okay. But I am free if you're looking for something to do. Maybe we could um, talk about your case or I can give you some pointers. Um, well, um... How about 8 o'clock? Well, she, wait, she asked me out, okay? Not you. No, no, right? no, no. no. She she'll, asked she'll, me out. She'll, she'll go on it. She'll at 8? Okay, 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 okay. All right, 8, okay. Sure. 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 Yes, yeah, she, she, she'd love it. I love it. Okay, I love it. All Are you right. sure about it? I'm sure about it. Okay, great. Okay. Well, um, how about I get your number? Um, if that's okay with her. Of course. She I loves it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. All right. Right. See you at eight. See you at eight. See you at eight. See you at eight. See you soon. Oh, are you, are you? Girl, you know how shy I am. Why do you do that to me? You need some help. Okay. <laughs> So you might you my dating app person now? Huh? I prefer matchmaker. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening. Same to you. So, uh, uh, how long have you been a security guard? It's been a couple of years, and prior to that, I spent a few years in college. Ah, you went to school. Yes. What'd you study? Criminal justice. Criminal justice, a woman of my own heart. Mm -hmm. So, why aren't you a police officer? Well, uh, I was two semesters away from graduating, and I decided that I, I wanted to become a mother. Ah, oh, motherhood. How's that treating you? Not well. Oh, I, after a few years, my womb said no. Oh. But it's okay. Here I am a few years later, and I am, I'm trying to adopt. Uh, but I'm hearing that um, 
It's a competitive market. Jeez. Yeah. Who knew that babies were such a high commodity? It's crazy. So what now? You're just waiting for a call or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and matter of fact, someone called me this morning and they were telling me that they didn't find my house suitable for child rearing. So like, I have to start oh, the process no. all over again. But Leanne, I'm so sorry. I know, I just, I just don't know if, if it's in the cards for me to become a mother. No, don't say that. I think kids need parents and I think it's commendable that you're willing to try. Thank you. Tell me, where are we headed? Ah, the important stuff. Yes. Okay, so I heard from a reliable source, at least I think she's reliable, <laughs> that you are a woman that likes to have a good time. Yes, I do. So, I got a heck of a, of a date ready. You do? <laughs> are you gonna take me to Walmart and we're gonna walk around and not buy anything? Busted. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. You sure it awaits? Okay, I shall go. <laughs> How did I not know that this was here? Oh yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? You know, the LAPD training facility is right down the street. So uh, when I was in the academy, we used to hike up here. It's really beautiful. It's so beautiful. You know, you know what I got a craving for? <laughs> what? Some McDonald's salty hot french fries. Oh, who doesn't? <laughs> Thompson, hmm? what's it like being a cop? What did I miss in school? What did you miss? What did I miss <laughs> dropping out of school? <laughs> what did you miss being a cop? Well, people hate you. You're constantly being cussed at. You're terrified to make a mistake because somebody's in the bushes with a video camera just waiting to ruin your life. But hey, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it is perfect, huh? So... Looks like you made a good choice then. It, yeah, actually I did. It's it's really not that bad. I mean, it is hard, but you know, some of the best things in life are difficult. It is. And for me, you know, when I think about it, it's less of a job and more of a calling. I guess kind of like you're drawn to motherhood. I like the way you put that. Yeah, it really, really helps on the hard days. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, um, forgive me if I'm overstepping, but I just had a question for you. Is Aisha a foster kid? Yeah, she is. Um, she's been in more homes than I can count. Wow. Well, you two have just the best relationship. Yeah, she, she told me the other day that I'm, I'm the most constant thing in her life. Isn't that amazing? That is. Oh, my God, that's amazing. <laughs> you know, um... It's just like somebody like you to be in her life and just make things better for her. If people had more, if more folks had people like you in their lives, my job would be a lot easier. That's really commendable. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, I, and again, and again, I don't mean to overstep, but if you two have such a wonderful relationship like you do, have you ever thought about adopting Aisha? I don't know. I mean, I always, I always thought about adopting a small baby and watching it grow up. I never thought about adopting an older child. Hmm. Well, again, I'm not trying to uh, speak out of line, but you guys have such a good relationship. Why not make it permanent? Hmm. Honestly. I honestly never thought of that. 
Well, I think you should, because you have a really big heart, Leanne. That's what I like about you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to go climb that mountain over there one day. Let's do it. Oh, do it. Why one day? Let's I have my right heels on. Where take them you? off. <laughs> Am I going to take them off? <laughs> You're going to have to carry me. Hey, whatever you need, I'll do it. Oh God. <laughs> Why do I feel like a little schoolgirl? This is a pervert. How old are your kids? Are, are they puberty age? Are they getting stealing age? Oh, well, she's on the phone all of a sudden. She's too busy to talk to me. Are they hamster stealing age? She's so sweet. It's okay. Ezekiel, what's going on here? Another robbery. What did they steal this time? My hamster. They stole my hamster. Why is everything? What are you going to do about it? Mr. Winslow here thought it'd be a good idea to bring and round up all the suspects. He's trying to help. Missing persons? You really believe that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Walker. So, what's going on here? I got a call. Oh, thank you for coming so quickly, officer. Although I did call over 30 minutes ago. Don't you have some responsibilities about that? <laughs> Sir, I think you're thinking about pizza. <laughs> now this is out of hand. What's the meaning of all this? There's been another robbery, Mr. Naeem. And one of the residents called in the authorities and I just got to work. I don't know what's going on. Where's Ezekiel? Ezekiel. You tell me. You're the security guard. I think someone should just take charge here. Could somebody just do anything, anything at all? Right? Can, we, can we please? Can we please all do something? Yeah. This is absolutely ridiculous. Can someone could just real quick go check the security cam? Am I the only smart person in this room? I know that I'm the only smart person on this side of the table over here. No, I'm, I'm not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Okay. You're a professional and I appreciate it. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Mr. Winslow here called the authorities because someone stole his hamster. Not just hamster, my buttercup. His buttercup. He woke me up. I was having the best dream. I was swimming in the water with the fish. Yeah, did you forget? Some of us work nights, you know. And I'm not getting paid for this, so. Oh, everyone knows what you do, honey. And everyone knows what you get paid for. <laughs> hey. Excuse me. What? What? Is it a mystery what these men are doing coming in and out of here? Is this a second mystery that we need to put up some cops on the case? What are the men doing in your apartment all day? Oh, are you apologizing? Hello! Where to go? Very impressive. Right. Yeah, so we're going to have a questioning, everyone. We're going to have a questioning. I'm going to get you guys one at a time. But I have to go watch my soap operas! Denise is waking up from the coma, and her evil sister took over the family business, and it's Christmas Eve. Who's going to get them to church? Who's going to get them to church? Everything's on the internet now, Miss Olivia. I can help you find your show. I do not trust YouTube. There is misinformation there. And I need to go back to sleep. I have a big performance night. I have a white dress and I'm going to be singing and, and I'm going to perform too. Big performance. Big performance? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good for you. You're going to wear white? Oh yeah, it's my oh. favorite color. <laughs> okay. Are you also pretending to be a virgin? <laughs> okay, so um, 
I'm gonna get everyone alphabetically. Charlie, get me a pen and, and a paper, please. Got it. And everyone, just leave, and I'm gonna get you guys one at a time. I promise it'll be quick, okay? This is gonna take forever. Her kids are gonna be in college by the time we get out of here. Oh, if they can get into college, which is doubtful. Hi guys. Are you gonna take can this? I know she ain't talking to me like that. This is me talking to you like that. Oh. I'm doing it right now. But at least I raised my kids. Who raised you, honey? <laughs> oh, oh! I see them sniffing glue behind the radiator. I see it. Is that what you call raising? Oh, I can open this tent. I bet I could raise them a little bit. I could teach them some manners and I could teach them to pray. You guys can exit. Wait, oh, we can? Yes. Thank you so much yes. for permission. Oh, thank you. I want to be in here longer. Yes, one at a time. Thank you so much. Delightful. Love you guys. Virgins first. Go ahead, ladies. Yeah, let's get out of here before someone snaps her. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I like you. that. I'm so sorry about your hamster. I really am. Thank you. Is she? Ready? What's wrong with you? Does the pig really need to be here? I have a severe distrust of authority. Yes, the pig definitely needs to be here. And so do I. Mm -hmm. Jump. Okay. I'm gonna go get suspect number one. Where were you on the night of the first robbery? I don't remember. Watch my favorite show. Jeopardy? The X-Files. Sleeping, I go to bed very early, you know. How early? <laughs> I need my beauty sleep. Just wake up this like this naturally. <laughs> Do you have an affinity or an aversion to hamsters? No, I love hamsters. I mean, I'm a pet-friendly kind of gal. Oh, I love hamsters. When I was a little girl, they were my best friends. I used to sing for them. So cute. Volare, oh, cantare, oh, nel blu, dipinto di blu, felice di stare lassù. No need for details. Thanks. What? Where were you? I wasn't paying attention, busy helping my kid with homework. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm I, I can't do this right now. Okay. Two plus two equals what? Put, put her down. Put your sister down. If I have to come back up there. We're gonna have a problem. Uh, how long is this gonna take? You're fine. Good to go. <laughs> I love her so much. My buttercup. Buttercup. Mr. Winslow, we asked you about the stolen stripper pole. I have neither an attraction or adversity towards hamsters, as you asked, Your Honor. Oh, I, I hated it. I was spinning all night, making a racket. I, the, the walls are very thin, you know. So, you didn't like Mr. Winslow's hamster? Oh, hamster, I thought we were talking about Mr. Winslow. He spins. We're getting nowhere. Agreed. You're fine. Good to go. So, guys, what we're looking for is motive. Who would want to steal those items? If we, can, if we can find the motive, we can eliminate the suspects through their alibis. It's starting to sound like some kind of detective. Explain. 
Oh, I figured it out already. I figured it out an hour ago. And? What was the first item stolen? Underwear. Miss Olivia's. Exactly. And what was she doing? She had her clothes in the dryer. And someone came in. They didn't steal her underwear. They just threw it out. What about the rest? <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> because Miss Milford walks around in her bathing suit and sometimes her underwear, she assumed that Miss Olivia stole it. But then, in retaliation, took her most prized possession. Her camera. Exactly. Hmm. And then it gets better. Miss Milford stole the pole to please her lover. She's married? If she is, he better be in the leasing agreement with her. You know, her lover has access to the resident's apartment. And the lover has to have the skill to put three screws up into the ceiling for the stripper pole. Which means he must have to have some handyman skills. Security guard in Happy get so lucky. Ezekiel, they're together. Isn't it obvious? Do you have the proof of all this? <laughs> the proof? Charlie is in the pudding. Open your eyes and you'll be made aware. Amazing work. That's really good. But what about the hamster? Well, the hamster. Was it stolen? Or was it murdered? What? Who would do that? I'm gonna leave that up to Officer Thompson to figure it out. I think it's time we found Mrs. Milford. And Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. So, have you figured it out yet? These people are eating me alive. Almost, we have one more thing to sort out. Have you seen Ezekiel and Miss Milford? No, I, uh, I haven't. Not since you started your investigation. Look, man, these, these people are eating me. Okay, relax, okay? I'll take care of them. Oh, man. Let's go to Miss Milford's apartment. Okay. Charlie, what are you doing? Using my key. That's one way to solve a crime. So I was right. So it was you? Yes. It was I who stole everything. But why? I'm on a fixed income, you know. But you have so much. And I suppose you figured out who my lover is as well? Ezekiel. Yes. The moment I moved into this place and I saw his supple cheeks and tight ass, I knew he was the one. Oh. And you kept it a secret the whole time. Yes. Because if not, he'd get fired for fraternizing with the resident. And getting fired wasn't part of the plan. What plan? He tried to warn you, you know. Warn me about what? Not to get involved. 
this apartment beauty, this company, your security company, flimsy as a concept like security maybe. He warned you he would treat you like a garbage, like another number, not even remember your name after service. Well, eventually, he had to have enough. So he made a plan to get out. Not just with a meager retirement on Social Security, no. He made a plan for us to move, start over a new life together out of the shadows. You're not going to get away with this. Officer Thompson is on his way. <laughs> and we will be halfway to Nevada. Miss Milford. Miss Milford. Miss Milford. Thanks, sweet cheeks. Anytime, honey bun. You got the files? And the computer. Great. Let's go fire up. Get moving. Oh. Oh. What hit me? Oh, what happened? Oh. You lost the fight with the door. Oh. Oh. I gotta go find Miss Milford. Uh. Let's go! No, no, no. You're hurt. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna just have to find Thompson. Actually, uh. isn't he... No, you Isn't he a cop? He can do it. No. It's up to me. You go, girl! For some reason, that doesn't sound right coming out your mouth. I know. But thanks. So. Thompson. Oh, stop, stop. Are uh, you okay? Yeah, yeah. I haven't been hit that hard since college football. Who hit you? I don't know. Um, I was chasing Mrs. Milford. Which way did she go? That way. That way? That way. Okay. Where, go. where, where are you going? I'm going to get the perpetrator. Just let the police do that. Oh, okay. yeah, right. Be careful. This sucks. I'm definitely getting fired. Get away! I can't let you get away with this! Leanne, this is bigger than you and me. It's about revenge, restitution, creating a future for a man and his lady. Come on, no. No. You'll be no. fine. No. I always liked you, Leanne. I never wanted you to be a part of this. <laughs> a little too late for that. 
Listen, Leanne, this is just a job. It's not a calling. Maybe not for you, but it is for me. Uh, Le Leanne, 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 get... No, you're a good man, Ezekiel. Come on. Listen. Come on, Ezekiel. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Time to go. Time to go. All right. You okay? I'm better now that you're here. They got away, huh? Yes. And there's a crate full of information, bank routing numbers, all kinds of items from the building. Mm -hmm. And it's back there. Sounds good. Calling all cars, be on the lookout for a crate full of evidence. I'll see Mr. Miller site. <laughs> How is it? Pretty good. A lot more exciting than your mystery. My mystery was real life. And pretty badass. I've been telling everyone about your fight at school. TMI. Whatever, Mom. <laughs> Ooh, that must be Thompson out there. Giving you rides to work? How romantic. Chivalry, chivalry, chivalry is always romantic. The bus will be here in a few. Make sure you lock up. Got it. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Thompson is now a lead detective in training. Never mind, it took us three weeks to figure out that. Miss Milford was the one who made the hamster disappear. And another week to realize Olivia paid her to do it. The evidence was all there, apparently. Hmm. Thompson wants to have dinner tonight. But I have a date with a teen and some algebra homework. But he's so welcome to join. I'll be seeing him at 5 p.m. Today. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Totally. I named her Carter. Wow. Nice. Hey. You know, what are you doing back there? Hiding. From who? Everyone. Gino, you are a smart and capable young man. And there's a big, wide world out here waiting for you. Don't deprive him of that. You're awesome. You want to split this bagel? No, oh, ma'am. Now, if I took a picture of the bagel with your phone, would you want a piece of bagel then? Yeah. yeah, I figured that. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Fine day today, isn't it? Hey there, young man. Good morning, resident. This job really suits him, huh? Sure does. <laughs> Good morning, Leanne. Big boss lady. Wait, is that PC or should I just say boss person? So that lawsuit Ezekiel put on you got you really startled, huh? Ezekiel. I mean, who would have thought that he would plant recording devices under my desk just to catch me talking reckless? And who would have thought someone can work for a company, steal from them, sue them, and win? Well, you can get away with anything in America, apparently. Well, almost anything. You did stop it from happening. 
just doing my job. <laughs> Thank you.